Hey everyone, this is Tom from Adventures at Home. So uh, today I wanted to do a, an update on the, uh, the the firewood stand. So unfortunately we had another theft yesterday. So uh, yesterday, July 1st, at the very start of the month, we had another theft. So what this person did, he bought one bin and two bundles and he only paid for uh, the one bin and the one bundle. So he shorted me $10. Um, you know, it's not the money. It's it's just you know I do work very hard on on cutting the wood, splitting the wood, stacking the wood, restocking the stand. It's not easy. Uh, so, uh, <clears throat> and I think my prices are very reasonable. So it's just kind of aggravating to see uh, somebody uh, short shortchange me uh, on on my labor. So anyway. Uh, I did get a couple pictures, and uh, he left a roll of quarters uh, with some personal information on it, which was kind of weird. Uh, so anyway, I did uh, I did text uh, the the phone number on the uh, uh, the roll of quarters, and the person basically denied it and said, uh, "I just have a small Ford Fusion. Uh, I'm not, you know, you know, there's no way I could have got the wood in there." Anyway, um, so I'll show you the picture of the, of the truck and the two guys. Uh, the, the picture's not great, so anyway, um, you know, it, it's not like uh, I'm going to be able to take this to the police department and prove a case. But um, yeah, so what this thief did is he he, uh, he paid for the, the firewood with a roll of quarters, and he had his name, address, and phone number on it. <laughs> so it's like. Uh, rule number one for a thief, if you're going to steal from somebody, don't leave your personal information behind. So, uh, anyway, that, that, that's what he did. And uh, so I did try to contact him. He basically blew me off. So, you know, there's really not much I can do about it. Uh, but unfortunately, he's a neighbor of mine. And it's just sad to know that, that my neighbors, at least one of them, is stealing from me. So... Uh, anyway, that the firewood sales uh, have been slow because it's summertime. You know, the, the temperatures are in the 80s and 90s, so um, it's just camp firewood at this point. Uh, so, what do we plan to do? We plan to uh, put up a ring camera. So, it's about $200 to, to buy a ring camera. <clears throat> so, that's what I plan to do. So, I'll be doing a video on that, installing that, and kind of showing you guys how that works. So that's the next step in uh, uh, the whole securing of the, the roadside stand. So w what I did, if you recall the last video, is I moved the roadside stand closer to the house. And uh, But this theft occurred in broad daylight. This was like 4 o'clock on a Friday afternoon. And typically, I don't take pictures of my customers, but this guy just seemed a little suspicious just the way he was throwing these these bundles onto his truck like he was trying to do a getaway here. <laughs> Uh, so I'm glad I got the pictures and, uh, you know, maybe this will prevent people from, from stealing from me again, but I am putting the ring camera up, so I'll be purchasing that very soon, installing that, and, uh, hopefully that will prevent future thefts.